Yeah, so I think Hupo, the Hupo Congress stands out because, and this I think is one of the challenges of, in organising a Hupo Congress, in that it covers a broad spectrum. So it covers both the technology and the detail of the technology. It covers the applications of those in the research laboratory and increasingly it's covering the translation of those to the clinical setting. Yeah. As Hupo president, what are my goals in the next five years? Well, what we'd like to do is many things. We want to keep advancing the field, advancing technology. We also want to keep making fundamental discoveries into human biology and disease. But I would argue it's more than that. We really want to also interface with the community and get proteomics out to a larger group. Cause we're lovers. That is a fact. Just over a year and a half ago, as Vice President of the United States, President Obama put me in charge of what we refer to as the cancer moonshot. Our effort to put together a strategy to end cancer as we know it today. And, uh, Heaney had a line in the cure at Troy that I think best characterizes where we are today. And it goes like this. He said, history teaches us not to hope on this side of the grave. But then, once in a lifetime, that tidal wave of justice rises up and hope and history rhyme. And I can't be with any more prominent group of people who may be responsible for making hope and history rhyme than all of you in this room today. And I mean four or five thousand proteomics scientists are coming and not only that I want to see I want to have here um, scientists and um, uh, representatives from industry uh, which are really benefit from proteomics I think it's super important to involve the general public for many reasons. First of all, they are helping us to classify images. We're saving a lot of time thanks to the players. We're also, uh, it's also a very good uh, way of reaching out. For the first time, we're going to be teaming up a proteomics laboratory expertise with an ongoing NCI sponsored clinical trial. opportunities created by scientific wellness and a healthcare that is predictive, preventive, personalized and participatory. How do we bring them together in a coherent fashion? And that's what I hope uh, this Congress and its leadership can attack for the future. Can you articulate a vision that places proteomics in the main thrust of this revolution in medicine? My, my advice to students would be um, never give up. Just never, ever give up. Come to Orlando, we'll see you there.